വെൽക്കം ടു നിഷ് ന്യൂസ് വീക്ക്ലി ബ്രോഡ്കാസ്റ്റ് റീജണൽ ന്യൂസ് സിക്സ് പീപ്പിൾ ഹാവ് ബിൻ കിൽഡ് എസ് ഹെവി റെയിൻസ് കോസ് ഹാവക് ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ഇന്ത്യ മീറ്റിയോളജിക്കൽ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് ഐ എം ഡി വാർണിംഗ് ഹെവി റെയിൻ ഇസ് ലൈക്ലി ടു ലാഷ് കേരള ടിൽ ജൂലൈ ട്വൻറ്റി സെക്കൻഡ് ദ ഐ എം ഡി ഫോർകാസ്റ്റ് റെയിൻ അക്കമ്പനീഡ് ബൈ തണ്ടർ സ്റ്റോംസ് ഇൻ മോസ്റ്റ് പാർട്സ് ഓഫ് കേരള അണ്ടിൽ ജൂലൈ ട്വൻറ്റി സെക്കൻഡ് it also said that monsoon has started shifting downwards and issued a red alert for the states of maharashtra goa and kerala and heavy rains and thunderstorms over the past few days kerala has experienced heavy monsoon showers accompanied by strong winds these weather conditions have led to widespread disruptions including tree uprooting minor landslides significant water logging and partial structural damage to homes Health Minister Veena George conducted a meeting of the administration of all medical colleges in the state on June 16 to discuss and review their security and safety measures. Checklists will be drawn up for all the departments in hospitals as part of enhancing safety and security measures. Principals and superintendents will have to ensure that employees follow the checklist in all departments. Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan urgently conducted an online meeting on July 18 to address the pressing issue of flooding caused by urban waste and debris clogging stormwater drains and canals in the capital city. The Kerala government has identified the urban refuse obstructing the segment of the Amayanjan Canal that passed under the Thiruvannathapuram Central Railway Station as a central contributor to the chronic flooding in the Tambanur area. the death of sanitation worker joy while attempting to clean the canal of trash and discarded waste has brought the city's choked up canals and storm water drains under a harsh spotlight the sanitation worker went missing in the canal near the central railway station on july 13 his body was recovered on july 15 morning over to national news four army personnel including a captain and a jammu and kashmir policeman were killed in a counter terrorist operation at doda in jammu that began on july 15 army chief general ubendra dwedi briefed defense minister rajnath singh on the situation the soldiers who died were identified as captain brijesh thapa naik d rajesh sipoy bijendra and sipoy ajay This is the latest in a series of militant attacks over the last few months in Jammu and Kashmir with terrorist activity particularly shifting to the Jammu region which has resulted in significant casualties among civilians and security forces. The Narendra Modi led NDA government on July 16 reconstituted the Niti Aayog with four full-time members and 15 union ministers including from BJP allies as either ex-officio members or special invitees. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi remains the chairperson and economist Suman K. Beri will continue to be the vice chairperson of Niti Aayog according to an official notification. Over to international news. Authorities in Bangladesh urged all universities to close on July 17 after at least six people died in violent protests over the allocation of government jobs. Some universities quickly moved to comply, but others, including the major university at the center of the violence, were still deciding how to respond. Thailand has significantly expanded its visa-free entry scheme to include 93 countries and territories aiming to boost its crucial tourism industry. Effective from July 15, this new policy allows visitors to stay in the Southeast Asian nation for up to 60 days. Previously, passport holders from only 57 countries could enter Thailand without a visa, according to a BBC report. Tourism, a vital component of Thailand's economy, has struggled to fully recover from the pandemic's impact. Sports News India will be represented by 117 athletes at the Paris Olympics after the sports ministry cleared the final contingent that also features 140 support staff and officials, of which 72 have been approved at the cost of government to meet the requirements of the travelling sportspersons. The only qualified athlete missing from the list is short putter Abba Katua. Spain's Carlos Alcaraz wins Wimbledon by beating Serbia's Novak Djokovic and now owns four Grand Slam titles at the age of 21. Alcaraz had a 6-2, 6-2, win against Djokovic on July 14 to win the Wimbledon men's title at London. Czech player Babora Krasikova defeated Italian Jasmine Pavolini in the final 6-2, 6-4 to win the ladies' singles tennis title at the 2024 Wimbledon Championships. It was the first Wimbledon singles title and the second major singles title overall. With this news, we come to the end of Nish News Weekly broadcast. I am Lijo Reji, Assistant ISL Teacher at Nish, signing the news for you along with Ms. Sylvie Maxi Mena, Nish Faculty. See you again next week. Thank you.